It's your turn. In this exercise, what we're going to do is build a background for a video that could be played in Flash or on a web page. So let's get started. And to get started, just open the start.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, what you will see is a skin for the strobe player, which is part of the Flash OSMF group of video players available on the web. And we're going to be using this as sort of our reference player and building around it. So let's get to work. Now, the first thing you need to know is the width of this player. It's 700 pixels wide. So that means that anything that we put in here should be no more than 700 pixels wide. We can do that fairly quickly. Select the rectangle tool and just draw it a rectangle on the canvas. And let's change it to a darker gray, like 333333. And we can now take the width of this in the properties panel and just change that number to 700. And it is now exactly 700 pixels wide. And let's take it up to 400 high. Now that we've done that, we can move it into position, sort of get it aligned up with the uh, player. And to do that, you just uh, hold down the shift key, select the square, the rectangle and the player, come to your alignment panel, and just making sure that they're not aligned to the stage or the canvas, just align their left edges, which is done. And now what we can do is create the base for a video to play in. And we're going to be building something of a frame. And to do that, you make sure that you've got the base selected. Come to your filters, bevel and emboss, inner bevel, and that looks kind of dumb. Why don't we just fold it in, make it almost look like a frame? So one of the parameters for the bevel and emboss is a ring. So if I select ring, you notice it now looks like a little frame for the video. This is a good thing. Deselect. And we now have our holder constructed. Let's go to the layers panel and uh, name this base. Now that the uh, base is constructed, let's give this a little bit of jazz and a little bit of a drop shadow. So we're going to come to the uh, vector tools again, select the ellipse tool, and just about here, just draw an oval. That's about the width of the player, just, you know, sort of that size. And fill it with black. And we'll name this shadow. Now that we've got the shadow created, we can apply a filter to it. And the filter we're going to use is a Gaussian blur. And when the Gaussian blur opens up, you can choose a radius. And as you can see, that if you take the radius out, these live filters are great. You can soften the edges. So let's take it out to about 8 pixels. Click OK. Move over to the Selection tool, and let's just get it into position. Sort of there. And it's above the base. I want to put it behind the base. So let's just grab the layer and move it under the base. And there it is. And then I can take the player and holding down the shift key, just move it up into position. Select the shadow, bring it down a little bit more. You can use the arrow keys for this part of it. And you can see that the shadow is covering the base. So it's got to go under the player. So we'll just move the player above the shadow. And we've got a nice little shadow in here. Now let's uh, drop in the, did you notice right there, a little bit of white? Okay, let's uh, pull that up. So we'll just bring it up a little bit closer. There we go. And now we've got that in there. Let's bring in a poster frame for the video. So file, import. Inside the exercise folder is a file called pipe. And this is just sort of an image of a pipe band. It's a screenshot of a video. Click open. And when you return back, you can just put the uh, angle bracket, the import bracket right there up in the uh, inside corner and just drop in the video. And what you have done is created a wonderful little interface for a video that looks a lot better than what you would normally get. And if you want to uh, 
you know, use this in a web page. You can click the fit canvas button just like that so everything fits. And then if you want to have the background not show through the canvas color, you can just set the uh, canvas color right here to transparent. And what you have created is a video player. Well, at least the interface for a video player that you can use over and over and over.